A Iron, A Marzaporgahar. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Sully for Antisocial News, and I have my, my MEK flag here because uh, I got some MEK news coming up. So stay tuned for that. Also, I have a couple channel announcements. Um, first, I apologize to uh, Big Man Tyrone. Uh, Supreme Samurai and President of Kekistan uh, for having the news late, but I am going to be doing news on time, promptly, 6 a.m. the following date, meaning the body count report for Monday is going to be published at 6 a.m. the following day. So, Tuesday, 6 a.m., boom, you get Monday's body count report, and you can see all the news that was ignored by the mainstream media real life or death situations, and also, if you are a patron, you get to go to patreon.com slash social news and see me goofing on the news and talking about my favorite memes, the non-news rundown. And the non-news rundown is it's where I get to be myself and I get to have fun with you. So, and that's over on Patreon. Um, link, as always, is in the description, and I'm going to be Gonna be getting the news out faster, don't worry. All right, uh, story I missed. 15 hurt in knife incident at Russian school. Very scary situation there. Times of India reporting. Uh, story I missed. Soldiers attack and burn military base in Le Cote d'Ivoire. Africanews.com reporting. Uh, I, this story is something. Apparently, there's rival military bases in the Ivory Coast, uh, and they literally, like, had some mutinies, and one base just, like, took over the other base. It sounds really scary, because these are the guys that have the guns in the country, so, anyway. Uh, we have, uh, me just going off on Pakistan here. I actually wrote a note on this one. Pakistan is not a real country and should resign their sovereignty to their neighboring lands as their prime minister has publicly admitted. Uh, yeah, not not being civilized. Uh, yeah, this is about Hafiz Saeed. And if you're not familiar with him, he's the mastermind behind the Mumbai terror attacks. Uh, and which you don't have to be personally affected by a terror attack to have it bother you, but I, I was. So, um, you know, I know, I know people that were mourning because of their family members getting gunned down in it. So, um, Hafiz Saeed, the Pakistan government is like, it's okay, you can just go free. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's why I'm saying Clearly, Pakistan is just just taking the piss. They're having a laugh. They're not serious about this whole being a country thing. Because countries don't let terrorist masterminds just, eh, he can go, I guess. What's he really going to do? He's fine. So what if he killed a few dozen people? Oh, okay. Yeah, you're not a real country, if you, if you feel that way. Do I think Pakistan is salvageable? Yes. Yes, I yes I do. But not if they don't take terrorism seriously, like Lashkar Taiba and and the other terrorist organizations that are running roughshod over their borders. <sighs> Government gets bolder in action. Oh, forgot to the Times of India reporting on last one. Government gets bolder in actions against air pollution. Korea Times. A Kodak KR, uh, anti-China voices growing over fine dust. Korea Times reporting on those two stories about pollution, which are actually deadly problems, uh, especially uh, especially in Asia. There's um, there's a lot of pollution-related illnesses uh, that can be complications leading to death. On the body count report, I don't just talk about shootings. I don't just talk about war. I also talk about things that will kill us. Um, whether it's car accidents or disease, um, anything. All right, as long as it's a life-death situation, it can make it into the body count report. 
All right, uh, government, oh, no, here we go. Netanyahu pays tributes to the 2611 terror attack victims. 2611 is what India calls uh, the Mumbai terror attacks, because it happened on the yeah, 26th day of the 11th month of 2009. So, uh, or sorry, 2008. Um, and then Ghana, icon of the day, terror funding case, NIA files charges against LET, Lashke at the bar, Hizbul chiefs, and 10 others. Um, this is a huge story because this is India taking the Lashkar Taiba seriously. Uh, and, uh, and they are cracking down on people funding their asses. Like, in order to do a anything, okay, whether you're, you're, you're doing a protest and you need to make some flags or something like that, uh, or, or you're doing a YouTube channel and you need to buy fruity bandanas, uh, everything has overhead. And terrorist groups have overhead as well. And so stopping their money, stopping their funding is awesome. Stop them. Because hit them with the wallet and they can't function as good. <sighs> I am so angry about the whole Pakistan wanting to let Hafiz Saeed go. That's just disgusting, honestly. Uh, and if you don't know what the Mumbai terror attacks are, I, I kind of envy you. They were disgusting. Uh, all right, all right, moving on, moving on, moving on. Uh, Prime Minister Abe and Australian counterpart Malcolm Turnbull meet in Tokyo and agree to boost defense ties. Okay, um, this is Japan and Australia joining forces to make sure the country stays safe. Good, fine. Uh, it could be kind of in response to the North Korea, South Korea buddy buddy situation now. Uh, so there's, there's something. Um, survival story, this is a good story. It's still super sad, but it's good. Orphan Choir tours uh, the world to raise funds to help other kids in Uganda. These, uh, this is a choir made up of Ugandan children who were abandoned by their family, and uh, or their families were dead, and uh, they go around raising money. And it's a, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful outreach. Also, ow, my heart. Okay, moving on. Herdsman killing. Uh, herdsman killings. We have no control over any Fulani men, says Sultan. Um, Vanguard Nigeria reporting. Link in the description. Uh, if you don't know about the Fulani herdsmen, it's, it's been the main focus of Vanguard Nigeria for the past week and a half, So, which is good because it's a horrific situation. They've been killing people indiscriminately basically um okay now we have uh suspected herdsman strike in akiti kill pregnant woman gosh vanguard nigeria reporting on that one okay moving on to indigenous peoples of biafra is not a terrorist group says survey uh followed up by Court declines to vacate order proscribing ind indigenous people of Biafra as terrorist organization. So you have two stories kind of conflicting. Like everybody's saying, no, Nanamdi Kanu's guys over here in Nigeria are not terrorists. And the government of Nigeria are still going, mm, no. We're still going to keep calling them terrorists. And we're still going to treat the Fulani herdsmen over here as if this is just a police matter. We'll have the police look into the dozens of people murdered over here, and we'll keep treating this political guy over here as if he's a terrorist. Okay, just want to... Vanguard Nigeria reporting on both those stories. Uh, now we have... Holy crap. 52 people killed in Kazakhstan bus fire. Uh, that's a lot of people 
to have on a bus, much less die on a bus. That is super tragic. Uh, Vanguard Nigeria reporting. Uh, Fayosa batters, battles tension over killing of herder. More back and forth situation there in Nigeria. Vanguard Nigeria reporting. Gunmen kill mother and daughter during anti-polio campaign in Pakistan. Uh, Times of India reporting on that one. She was... Um, Man pleads guilty to 1985 Glen Ellen murder of 15-year-old Christy Wesselman. Interesting. Justice story. Uh, there's there's an Austin in Chicago. I didn't know that. Thank you, Chicago Sun-Times, for the previous story. And these two stories. Man, teenage girl, shot while stopped at stop sign in Austin... And two men hurt in Austin shooting. Both of those happening on Thursday, and both of those in some place called Austin, which is under the control of Chicago police. Chicago Sun Times reporting on this. A 15 year old boy shot multiple times after answering front door of Longdale home. Chicago Sun Times reporting. Man, I get on Chicago sometimes, and it's just like, story, 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 and sometimes I just feel obligated to keep putting them in, because I, I put in so much other, like, random stuff, and then there's just these, Cook County reaches 13 cold-related deaths this season, Chicago sometimes reporting, weather, oh well, man versus nature, alright, two killed, eight wounded in Thursday shootings across Chicago, um... Chicago Sun Signs, and now Hawaii doctors flu getting worse, wor- flu getting worse deaths reported uh, from KHON2, and uh, we have Turkey says Syria offensive de facto underway. Now this is Times of India reporting about the situation of India versus, I'm sorry, Turkey versus the Kurds. Uh, well. Turkey versus PKK uh, and other organizations, but a lot of people think that it's going to be more of like what we're seeing Nigeria do to Biafra uh, and take out militarily on a political separatist group. So we'll keep an eye on that situation, and I will see you for the next Body Count Report. This has been... Sully waving my my MEK flag. Those nice people. Was the MEK story even in here? Did it did, did, did it get to that? I didn't see it in here. I don't know why it didn't pop up. Anyway, the MEK story is that uh, um, a dozen former U.S. officials are encouraging the administration to reach out to the Sazamana Mujahideen Hauk, uh, which is these nice people who gave me this flag and they uh, gave me candy and they let me videotape them marching around the White House um, from the North Lawn. Uh, and, uh, yeah, they, they made their point very clear. Newt Gingrich was there. There's a whole video, I'll link to it on this, um, of me with them. And it's, uh, it's very interesting to see, uh, this group being validated by, uh, diplomats because they, they were a, a terrorist organization for years because they were, they were doing, you know, targeted assassinations of Iranian government people. Um, but in 2009... Uh, they were taken off the terror watch list in UK and America, and in 2012, they were taken off the terror watch list in the EU. So, uh, uh, they are now officially a non-terrorist political organization that is working for regime change in Iran, and, uh, they want to see, uh, a free democratic Iran, uh, are there political nuances to that? Yes, there are. Um, 
and I want to be exploring those. Uh, I might try to do a full video on MEK, uh, where I where I agree with their approaches, where I disagree with their approaches, um, and uh, and also check out uh, Miriam Rajavi's YouTube channel. Uh, she's very well spoken, and she can say all this herself. So, link will be in the description below. This is Sully for Anti-Social News, and that's the Body Count Report for Thursday, January 18th, 2018.